everyone. Today's art journal prompt is nature. Um, and I've got um, a pile of things that I want to try and incorporate into um, a collage page. I fancy doing a collage today. I haven't done one for a while. Um, so let me just talk through what um, has inspired me. I've got some pieces of wallpaper again um, that I've acquired. Hang on, let me just get these out of the way. So we've got a feather, um, a bird some nature script, a bumblebee and a leaf. Um, I've also got some um, leftover modelling paste on brown packaging. I'm not sure whether this is mine or whether I've received this in Happy Mail, but I like it and I'm going to try and incorporate that. I've got sort of kind of um, a beige and, um, and green and grey theme going on here. I've also got a piece cut out from a dictionary, nature and the explanation of, of nature some skeleton leaves, um, some dried pansies that I picked up from a charity shop, um, some tags. Um, I've also recently acquired um, some vintage textbooks and I've got this um, nature study book here that dates back to 1923 um, and I'm going to sort of try and use this in my background as well. Um, nature study um, and then blossom chickens and birds nests. So I thought, you know, I could um, certainly keep blo uh, blossom and birds nest um, to go with the, the images um, that um, that you've seen here so this is what it looks like I've got I'll have to do um, a show and tell of some of the vintage things that I've acquired um, recently but um, I just thought that was really fun um, then I've got some feathers that I've collected from my own garden as well I've also got this one here um, so let me try and get myself organized and then we'll see what we can do with this page. Now, an idea just sprang to mind so I just shot off to the kitchen and I've mixed um, some tea diluted tea into one of my spray bottles I put um, a tea bag into the bottom of this um, measuring jug here um, and then put a little tiny bit of boiling water and then I've topped it up then once um, it's gone brown um, with some cold water because I'm impatient and I wanted to use it straight away so I've got diluted tea in this bottle and I'm going to spray my page just to sort of try and give it a more of an aged vintage feel um, so let's have a look. Right, so there we go. I'm going to give this a dry with my heat gun. It looks after the first dry, so um, that's not very, very dark, and I don't want it to be, but um, I'm going to add some more and repeat the, the drying process again. Um, this is only mixed media paper and if I thought that I was going to do this I'd probably have chosen watercolour but um, this was an afterthought and so I didn't. <laughs> page looks after the second dry um, and I'm liking that and I've got some tea left over um, on my mat here as well so I'm just going to dip um, this in and give it a third dry um, and whatever I end up with after this will be um, I'll be happy with. This is how my page is looking now um, and I'm really happy with the colour of that and just um, so that you can see the difference um, from when I started off that's just a piece of the edge of this mixed media paper so it really has dyed it and I'm not sure how much of this you'll be able to see by the end of this process but at least I know it's there and I know now that um, if I want instant um, tea dyed pages that I can just do it from a from a spray bottle without um, having to put pages in the in the oven now I've got some watered down PVA glue this is just um, cheap school glue here um, and I'm just going to glue down some of my, my pages, um, overlapping just so that I can I can tear them. Um, whoops it Daisy, come back you. Right, let's just add some glue to the to the page. I've got a feeling that I'm probably going to end up covering most of this, but um, but hey ho, as I say, I know that the vintage the paper is vintage underneath. Um, I'm working on a piece of uh, parchment paper as well, just to save um, my table. Right, okay, so we'll add that there like like that. Right, so I'm just going to um, press this down to get rid of any, any buckling. What do I want to add um, next? I think maybe I want some of this. I'm just going to tear around the edges though. Right, let's put this down. Where do I want? Maybe have that there. I think I want my bumblebee. Here, perhaps. Again, I'm going to tear, 
curly edge. In fact, I'm going to start off with the bird because I want the bird to cover um, this area here. And I'm not sure actually whether I perhaps just, in fact, let's just tear that like that. I'm making this up as I go along, as you can, as you can see. I just love that bird. That's really cute. Um, right, it was that bird I wanted to go there. So again, I'm just going to tear around the edges just to give it that aged look. I don't want sort of all these perfect straight lines. Right, okay, so we'll add some glue just here. I'll add some to the back of the piece of paper as well. Oop. There we go. There we are. I've got a butterfly. I could have my bumblebee maybe down here somewhere. I think what I shall do first of all though is tear the um, edges. I've also got um, an old tea bag that um, I dug out. And maybe I could have the butterfly on the on the tea bag. What do I want the bee? No, in fact, I want this um this leaf. There we go. So it's just a case when you're doing a collage, it's just a case of playing around with all of the elements that you've got um, until you end up sort of you know with the positioning that and composition that you're that you're happy with, and it is just you know fiddling fiddling around. There we go. I think I can maybe have that something something like that. I've got two tea bags here. Which one do I prefer? I think I like um, that one. That one better. I'm going to give this a dry first of all, just so that I can tear around the edges of this page. To make sure that I'm still keeping those raggedy um, edges. I'm just using my torn page here as a guide. I'm not cutting it. I'm just tearing right um, along the edge here, like like this. Really, really easy. There we go. So I am happy with, with that. Let's add a bit more glue on the bottom there. I shall be inking around the edges of this as well. Um, right, what do I want to add next? I think I maybe want my feather somewhere over, over there. So I'll give this a, a tear and just rough this up a bit. What else have I got? Um, I've got my tea bag, but I want some bits and pieces to go um, under underneath that. I've got these two pages here as well, quite like um, that. Let's tear along the edge here. As I say, this just um, came off a roll of, um, of wallpaper, again, from the DIY store. I haunt that place for all of their, their samples. And I quite like that um, cow's um, parsley as well. So let's just tear the edge so that I don't end up losing, losing that. I'm going to put some glue there. Let me just... There we go. So I'm going to put some glue down there now. Oh. So all that staining that I did at the beginning wasn't really necessary because I've ended up covering up the whole of the page, but um, that's the way it goes sometimes. When you make things up as you go along, you never quite know what you're going to, to do, and so you do end up covering... Some of the things that you start off with up but that's okay that's fine i want that down a bit because as i say i want that cow parsley on the page right okay this is how we're looking so far so i think i want my tea bag something like that and i want my leaf on there like that i'm just going to ink around though with some um, vintage photo There we 
go just so that that stands out a bit. So let's add some glue to that. I think I want that on there something like, like that. And then I've got this little nature dictionary piece here that can maybe go on on there yep so let's glue glue that down be careful with this because I don't want to um, tear it let's see if I can just there we are I've got this butterfly where do I want this to go I'm going to put that down, down there. And as I've said, it's just a case of keep trialling um, the positioning of things until you end up with a layout that, that you're happy with. Oh, come, come here, you butterfly. This is how we're looking so far and I've just been and grabbed some um, lace because I think I want to put um, a piece of lace down the outside just just here. So I'm going to cut a piece off. Where have I put my scissors? Right, let's stain this with some of the um, tea just to give it more of an age look. It's too cream, too, too new looking. So let's saturate um, that, wipe up all the excess, it smells like tea too, here we go, and give this a dry. Right, okay, my lace is dry now and I'm really happy um, with that, so I'm going to glue that on um, on the left hand edge and just to show you again the difference, I mean just, just look, so um, this tea staining um, stuff really really does work, so I'm going to glue that down onto the side here. I'm going to use a generous amount of glue just because it's it's fabric. Let's see if this will stick. Um, I'll add some to the back of the, the laces as well to try and help it on its way. Oh, let me just move that out of the way. I'm thinking I might have the tea bag as sort of like, um, like a focal image. I've got to try and find some way to, of bringing all of this um, together in a second, but we'll We'll work on that in a in a minute. So I'm going to glue that down like, like that. Give this a dry and trim, trim the edges. Right, it's starting to um, come together now. I love that lace on the left hand side. I'm really happy um, with that. I think I want to add um, this feather just in the center here like like that so I'm going to glue that down um, here we go let's um I've got bits and bobs everywhere I might need to um, get some more glue as well let's see if I can just about manage right I'm going to glue this upside down as well deliberately right where do I want that I think I want that about um, there And then I've got this egg that I want somewhere like that and my bee. So I'm going to glue those two down, I think. There we are. And I feel as if I want something over here as well and I'm not quite sure what. Do I have that? Yeah, I think I will. Now, I want it that way up. No, this way up. 
And the reason I'm working on this um, piece of parchment paper is that with glue, I can just put it to one side, um, the glue will dry and then I can use it again. And it saves having to sort of mop up all the mess on, on my desk. It's just I've got to peel all the glue off my fingers. That's all. I was still feeling that um, it just needed something else. So I've gone and grabbed a couple of postage um, stamps out of my, my stash. So I've got this butterfly here and the bird um, just because the colours work really well with the page that I've got going on. Um, then I've also got this little um, piece of paper from wallpaper again that says butterflies which I'm going to glue on just there and um, I've got another piece of dictionary paper bird which I'm going to glue over the cuckoo because I just think it's just I don't know, more fitting with the page than, than cooking. Right, I'm still fiddling around with this page. Um, you know me by now. I will just fiddle and fiddle and fiddle until I get things right. I don't like this, um, this leaf here. So I've torn um, a flower off this piece of wallpaper here and I'm going to glue that there so that I can have my tea bag um, here like that. Um, then I've uh, grabbed a couple of the um, pansies and I'm going to glue these down like like so. And then I'm going to add a couple of these feathers as well. So I'm going to add one there and one on the left hand side here. Um, and then I think we'll add some kind of shading. So I'm going to go off now and glue these elements down. Now we're almost done and I just absolutely love how this looks. I'm going to um, use a Neo colour. Um, what colour is this? Um, raw Umber. And I'm just going to add some detail. Just around some of the elements like, like this. And I'm going to dampen my finger because um, the Neo colours are water water soluble. So I've got a damp baby wipe here and I'm just going to just rub it in with my finger just to add a bit of a highlight um, to some of these areas. You could use a water brush as well. In fact, I've got my water brush um, to the side here just um, in case I don't like how this, this looks. But using your finger is, is just a little bit um, easier. And so I'm going to go around all of my elements just, um, just in the same way that um, you can see me doing here. And as soon as I've done that, I shall be back. Right, my page is almost done now. I've um, gone around all of the pieces and in the end I opted for just adding some of my Neo Colour onto um, my water brush like this um, and going around the edges like that. I just found it um, easier than the way I showed you um, a minute ago. And now I'm just adding a border and I've got a puddle of water. Let me just um, see if you can, you can see it. Let's move this over a little bit. So I've got a puddle of water here and I'm just dipping my Neo Colour um, into the water and I am going along the edges like like this. I just felt that the um, the green colour here um, was just better than the vintage um, photo. I've even gone around the leaf here that I did in the vintage photo earlier just because I just think this looks um, much better. So I'm just defining the outside of my page like, like this and then I shall give everything a dry before I glue my page into my journal and that's this week's nature page. So done. here's this week's finished page glued into my journal. The only extra thing I've done is I've added a bit of splattering and that happened by, by accident. I was just adding the raw amber um, with my water brush and splattered by mistake and thought, oh, quite like that effect. So I decided to add add some more. And then the only other thing I've done is outline the words nature study just with an ordinary um, pencil. And that is pretty much it. Now, for those of you who thought that it was a complete waste of um, time, me included, adding the tea staining to the um, original background. I'm quite pleased that I did because there are just two little areas that, that show through this area here and this area here and if I hadn't have done the tea staining that would have been just bright white white, which wouldn't have been in keeping with the page and you can actually see the underneath just around the edges so in my opinion worthwhile. I've never done it before either so now you know I know how to do um, tea staining. It's something I've wanted to, to try for a while. So I hope you like this week's page. I look forward to seeing what um, you decide to, to do for this week's nature prompt too. You know, feel free to do a collage or, you know, any take on the prompt you like. 
Um, if you like this um, collage page that I've done, I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up. I know I say this every week, but it really does let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. And let me know what you think in the comments below. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.